This video will cover how to create your own custom trees, place the tree in a SketchUp model, and then show how well TreeMaker and iRender Next work together. Hi, Dennis here to show how quickly and easily you can add custom trees to your SketchUp model. To start, go up to your Plugins folder and click on Make Tree, and then up pops this dialog box. It's here where you can customize the tree to look exactly the way you want. This is by far the best program I have seen to make highly customizable and highly detailed trees. First thing you want to do is choose which type of tree you want. And you do that by coming over here to Type and choosing one of these four options. I like Standard, so I'm going to stick with that. This may seem a little bit intimidating at first, but uh, don't worry because most of these settings are pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to go over a couple of them right now. So length and scale are similar, but length will make the tree taller or shorter and add or remove branches as it goes. Whereas scale will make the tree taller or shorter, but simply scale the branches accordingly. And then I just wanted to point out down here is the dimensions of your tree. So this is important to pay attention to. And angle, bending, and horizontal do kind of the same thing. Uh, they control how the branches hang off the trunk. So that's pretty cool stuff. But crookedness might be my favorite. I think this can really improve the look of your tree because it adds some really funky curves and kinks to it. Lots better than that super straight and boxy trees that I see a lot when people try to create their own trees. And then we have the trunk tab. And these are many of the same settings, but this time we're controlling the trunk as opposed to the branches. And then there's the foliage tab. And as you can guess, this is where you change the settings for the look of the leaves of the tree. You can change how big they are or how far apart they are. You can even click on the picture of the leaf and choose from four different types. Now if you want to preview your tree to make sure you like the adjustments you've made, just come over here and rotate it around and zoom in on it. And then come up here to Ray Trace and click on Start. If you like what you see, go ahead and click OK. And then up pops this new dialog box. The important thing to note is that TreeMaker creates flat, two-dimensional images of trees based on the settings we just gave it. So in this dialog box, we can control the quality of that image. So I'm going to go with high for both of these. And then come over here and click on advanced settings. The important thing here is camera height. This just means at what perspective or what angle you're going to be viewing the tree from. For instance, if you're going to be looking at this tree from the view of a six foot tall person standing on the ground and your tree is 12 feet tall, you're going to want to put this at 50%. And then just click OK. After you've changed all the necessary settings, simply come down here and click on Start. So what it's doing right now is making a 2D image of the tree that we just changed the settings for. The benefit of doing it this way is that you still get a very lifelike tree, but with a very low face count. This means that you can add as many trees as you want to your SketchUp scene and it won't slow your machine down like it would if these were true three-dimensional trees with hundreds of branches and leaves and thousands of faces per tree. And then click Save Tree Image and then place the tree anywhere you want, as many times as you want. Now one last thing I want to talk about is how well TreeMaker works in conjunction with iRender Next. As I said, TreeMaker makes 2D images of trees, but when you render the same scene, same trees, same settings, same everything, iRender Next automatically re-renders all of the trees based on the settings we gave it earlier in this video. Let me show you what I mean. So here's the SketchUp scene. And then here's the rendered version. I love this feature because iRender does a great job at rendering these trees. But even cooler is the fact that iRender re-renders each tree. Therefore, each tree is slightly different than the one next to it. Not to mention the slight color change in the leaves and uh, the shadows cast on the ground and on the house that adds a great level of depth to these trees. So this really adds a level of detail and realism to your SketchUp model that no other software can match. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out at renderplus.com for more info.